the SpaceX Crew Dragon on a history-making mission. Here's a look at uh, the crew as they open the hatch to the International Space Station after docking there just hours ago. And ABC's transportation correspondent, Gio Benitez, is covering the story from Miami. Gio, good morning to you. Hey, Dan, good morning. Yeah, we all watched that launch in awe yesterday, especially here in Florida. Now these new images are coming in, and we are hearing from those astronauts in space. SpaceX on the big loop, soft capture confirmed. This morning, contact. After more than 23 hours traveling through space. Maximum dynamic pressure. Endeavor arriving. The four astronauts aboard the SpaceX Crew Dragon reaching the International Space Station. The crew already on the ISS welcoming their new members. For the next week, they'll be in tight quarters, 11 astronauts on board at the same time. The crew on the ISS even building extra beds. And liftoff. The launch Friday was picture perfect, lighting up the skies up and down the East Coast. It's an invasion, Rucker. It's a UFO. But the flight wasn't without drama. Space junk threatened the ship. The crew scrambling to get back inside their pressurized suits. The space junk traveling at more than 17,000 miles per hour, coming within nearly 28 miles of the Crew Dragon, but missing it. Before the scare, the astronauts giving a live tour. And this is what we get to see. Coming up on Madagascar. And pilot Megan MacArthur, whose astronaut husband Bob Benkin sat in that exact same chair last year, saying it's been a while since she's been in space. I'm like a baby bird here, relearning how to move around in uh, microgravity. It feels really good, but it feels a little bit weird, too. And the children of the four astronauts coming together to choose a toy to float inside the Crew Dragon with their parents, a penguin named Gwyn Gwyn. Little Gwyn Gwyn right there. And once they get settled, they'll start the research, especially medical research. They're going to focus very heavily on viruses and treatments to help us understand pandemics. Really important work, Gwyn. Absolutely. Little Gwyn Gwyn is what we call Dan as well. <laughs> A little pet name for our friend. Well, only when I'm behaving well. <laughs> That's so. right, of course. Gio, thank you so much for your reporting on this. It's been fun to watch. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.